This way too early college basketball championship edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Shady Rays. Go to shadyrays.com and use promo code SGPN for 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. We're also brought to you by the Golf Gambling Podcast Tailor Made Driver Giveaway. Head over to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash driver to enter today before the big drawing on April 8th. We're also brought to you by Baseball Money is Fake, our fantasy baseball podcast. Join Blake and Ryan three times a week and get all the player breakdowns and statistical data you need to dominate. This is my team, Cleese, and you're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. Oh, what's happening, Kramer? This is now two out of three episodes that you might have. You may have something to do with breaking the camera, or we can just blame just too beautiful. Just blame Colby. Ryan like keeps uh, forgetting to plug in the Kramer. Uh, no, it's plug clearly, in the camera when I'm can, on. You can see it's clearly plugged in. We can see ourselves down here. There's just something in in the image. Too much rear view looking, maybe. Oh, we got a lot of. Well, what are we? We're looking forward, Ryan. What are we doing? I'm just saying you love to look in the past. Okay. Yeah. Well, speaking of the past, uh, 2022, 2023 college basketball season is over. The Aztecs have been crowned champs. Joining us to talk college basketball, Colby Dant, aka the Dantabase. What's up, Colby? The Aztecs have been crowned champs in 2020. I am director of retro. Yes. Uh, how no, you doing? Unfortunately, UConn Huskies uh, got it done. Shout out, congrats oh. to the Huskies. Uh, I, they just dominated. Did you see that uh, they they took like a, a lamp post and shoved it through a fucking? I did. Uh, it was great. Sports are back. <laughs> I mean, it is. I, I don't know what's funnier: people fucking up, stu- fucking up their own campus via celebrating, which I I'm sure I would have done had I been a UConn Husky student at the time, but the. The desire to film your own crime has never been higher. Uh, it's this- like everyone's sitting around going like, "Oh man, yeah!" Like, "Oh, make sure you get a good face shot so- of this guy." It's like <laughs> you realize they could just. I mean, I'm sure the people are tagged who are committing the crimes. Like. The, uh, the parent, uh, we, so you can't even put away our phones when we commit crimes. That's where we've got so, to. Do yeah, no, society. I mean parenting. So like the the all the time, the especially the high school age one. Is, Fight happens. There's like six different angles. When I win the Tech Bowl uh, championship, I'm, I plan to do it to this studio. All right. <laughs> I, 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 I just well, good luck finding the light pole in this. Time. I just don't understand. I mean, to Sean's point, their taxes. W- I, at some point, we stopped inviting Chris Carter to the symposium. <laughs> when he explains to you, you don't record your fucking crime, you idiot. Yeah, you gotta yeah. have a weed guy if you're pro athlete. Uh, like you don't back even when weed was a problem. You don't even want to know how easy it is for your face to be searched, John. <laughs> easy, easy in the YouTube chat saying it's like going to the gym. If you don't film yourself destroying property, oh. <laughs> did you even destroy it? It is, it, it has gotten to that point. It's so funny you say that because the other thing I see from my teenage daughter is that exact thing: people working out. It's people working out. AK people looking good and it's people getting into fights. Yeah, I mean I I don't feel myself working out cuz when you tune into youtubecom slash sports gaming podcast, you know I've been working out. Mm, they don't Flex- got guns like that in Iraq, Sean. <laughs> I mean re- the That's re- part of their problem. They the real that. ones There's don't- a silencer on that one. <laughs> right? Wow, I, I think that's a shots fired over here. Colby AK the cult leader. We need a new name for Colby and his uh his new level Drink the of- Kool-Aid. He's he's very excited to talk. I am college. excited. So we are uh, fun. Just recap a little bit of the championship game and well, then talk. Yeah, I was gonna say we we realized that Colby are obligated to have Colby on uh, yeah. two, two shows a week contractually so. yeah. uh, we after his after his one week. one game XFL suspension he served it. Oh yeah, part of the deal. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's fun to take a look because they're the future championship prices are already out. Uh, we'll walk through kind of buy sell on some of these uh, future prices. Moneyline Ed, I don't know Ooh. if he, any relation to Moneyline Mac, mm. but uh, next year there will be a mid-major crowned national champ. 
I mean, oh. I don't even what, what do is yeah. it, I, I feel like with conference realignment, is the term mid major even going to I mean, be a thing anymore? Because yes. they, like UConn in 2014 was technically a mid major. They were, they were in the American. Yeah, but I, I would, I would. It's an easy like. It can be a fluid definition. So but basically, your like conference, Pac-12, Pac without UCLA and USC, does that become a mid-major? Threshold is two teams. Uh, and, uh, they should be adding San Diego State. <laughs> but yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't. To me, it's not a very easy definition when you're going to have all these crazy I think conferences it shifting around. It, are, oh, okay. Do you put two teams or like more than two teams in the tournament? That's your de- yeah. that's your definition. If okay. you put more than, I mean. It, it, it probably holds pretty. So Pac-12 strong. would be a mid-major then, right? But couldn't you How argue? How many did they then, put in this year? But they don't have without UCLA and USC. If they're not putting out three teams consistently, then they, yeah, they would be a mid-major. Okay. That's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see. But I, I think grab teams. I think gonna, to Colby's yeah. point, like San Diego State, very obvious. Not only that, but look, think of the recruiting land that San Diego State would oh, have yeah. uh, to themselves in that conference. I, I don't know. I. No, they they should be added that, today. That being said, I feel like this was our year to get a mid major. True, but uh, you know this shitty ass UConn team won, and their shitty ass fans. They dominated celebrate. the tournament, though, dude. They did, you know, like they so. Did. No, they won by a crazy. They, they actually margin. had what, one of the biggest runs as far as like comparing it to other years. You know what I mean? Like that. Oh, they they, they, they destroyed. They, they remind me of like UNLV of ninety. Did they run into any friction? Were they trailing in the second half of any games? No. That's I mean that's impressive. Maybe, maybe Iona? Maybe well, they, I don't think so. They though, started right? out uh I think against Iona they were down one at half or, or so, so, so it's like yeah, very yeah. very you know not not much in the second half. Uh, just impressive performance from a team that I don't think many thought had that many impressive performances in them. Uh, cousin most checking in wanted to get a wellness check on Decker. I mean, not surprising talking to Decker. He was chipper as all hell happy about the Aztecs just getting to the championship. I mean, it's, it's hard to be that upset when you win the elite eight and the final four by only one point and the way you did it and kind of, you got to your first final four, you won a game in the final four, you got I mean, to the national I, I championship. I don't think people realize how bad San Diego state was for most of my life. I, I mean, so I mean now they've built this culture now for like 15 years where this, this program's not going anywhere. They're live. Yeah. They're alive. I feel dog. bad. Yeah. I feel bad. We, I, you know, De- Decker now will never go to another sporting event that features a team he loves. Because he obviously had some influence on them losing. <laughs> I feel bad. We talked nah. him into going to Houston. Showing you, you bullied him into going. Bullied. I didn't. I, I didn't. knew that his logical brain. It would, he's like an <laughs> actuary, right? Like he, I, I knew that once I laid out the price, he would have been like, "Yeah, they're never going back." How about this? Let me do the calculations real quick. They're never going back to the national champion. How about this? From 1985 until 2001, they had one winning season, and that was f- uh, a record of 15 and 14. Awesome. So people don't realize like they've built this thing the right way. They they've been really good. Look at the, their last 4 years, 30 wins, 23 wins, 23 wins, 32 wins. This thing is not going anywhere. They've really no, they they've really real. built this thing up. Yeah, I mean, some NBA talent passed through there, Kawhi Leonard, the uh the godfather of what load they, management. They didn't even uh what did they the Kawhi year? They didn't even they went get to the to Sweet the, Sixteen. Yeah, they, didn't yeah, get they to lost the to UConn. Yeah. The what did 16, we learn yeah. from Decker that that eight of the current NFL training staffs are uh, from people that graduate, like run by people that graduated from San Diego State? Which is, and as you pointed <laughs> out, which is hilarious considering the uh, <laughs> Chargers and how bad they've been with their injuries, yeah. and the fact Shout that they almost murdered doc. that they stabbed Tyrod Taylor, <laughs> which. <laughs> In hindsight, was a was one of the rare great moves by the franchise because it got to, it got them to Justin <laughs> Herbert early. Kind of all around. Tyrod, couple more contracts since then. Uh, everyone won. He, Tyrod won a lawsuit versus. I mean, he literally cashed everyone in got on paid. that. Hey, uh, we are going to be heading out to the Circus Stadium swim. Shout out to Paulie. He's going to be out there hanging out with us. Won the contest. 
Of course, get in sportsgivenpodcast.com slash driver for your chance to win a tailor made driver. A uh, winner gets drawn on April 8th. But uh, if you're watching on YouTube, you see I'm rocking my Shady Rays. Going to be rocking them all week out here, uh, out when we go to Las Vegas, hanging out by the pool, maybe even inside if I'm, uh, you know, playing some poker or playing some blackjack. Don't want the, don't want the, uh, the people to realize I'm counting cards. I mean, you can't read my eyes with these polarized lenses. Good for indoors, good for outdoors, good for whatever you're getting into. Love my Shady Rays. Really enjoy these uh, glasses. They're just awesome. And again, their their uh, return policy super generous. If you don't like them within thirty days, send them back. But you're going to like them because they're shady rays. And again, you look good, you feel good. Love these things. And really, the replacement policy is crazy. If you lose or break your pair, even on day one, they will send you a brand new pair, no questions asked. Love my Shady Rays, and I think you will too. Exclusively for our listeners, uh, Shady Rays is giving out their best deal of the year. Go to shadyrays.com, use promo code SGPN, get 50% off two plus pairs of polarized sunglasses. Try for yourself the shades rated five stars by over 200,000 people. Uh, just quick check, checking in with the chat, Sean. Mm. Uh, a, we should not to, to circle back on UConn one more time, but they also, not only did they murder the tournament, they overcame cousin mush holding a 30 to one. Future. I mean, that, Woo! that really is a historic performance. The fact that they could win this many games in the tourney by that kind of margin and take down cousin mush. I mean, first that's you really the Campbell the Walker, Shabazz Napier, overcoming <laughs> Cousin Mush's thirty to one future. These that are, would be that would be a great like. Which was your favorite? That would champion. be a great UConn uh, Mount Rushmore. Maybe we could get someone on the uh, Photoshop, and it's like Shabazz Napier, Kemba Walker, Hurley, it's and then Cousin Mush in uh, a Providence Mush. shirt. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> somehow, somehow the greatest figures in UConn basketball and cousin Mush makes it in there and uh, easy saying that he's got a shady rays on right now. Cause his blinds broke uh, and the, it's sunny outside. So uh, he didn't, you know, maybe fix the blinds, but appreciate you shouting out shady. Rays. Uh, they could be your own personal blinds, right? They're, Who they're, cares about your blinds when you got your own personal blinds sitting right on your nose, portable, they're portable, yeah, portable blinds. blinds. All right. So you know, I, I grabbed a list that starts completely, uh, no logic into where I cut it off, other than just stopping at fifty to one. Okay. So I, I what I will say is, uh, we can run through the list, and if Colby wants to add anyone at the end, we can have a couple bonus spots for Colby's adopted buy sell. So uh, first up, fifty to one. Oregon, Virginia, Florida Atlantic. I mean, you gotta love Florida Atlantic. Uh, yeah. Is the team not coming all coming back? Because uh, I they I lose believe flowers. They lose their senior Michael Flowers. Mostly, besides that. Yeah, mostly yeah. underclassmen. But well, do we know? I mean, we don't know what the, the portal the transfer portal. Yeah. yeah. Don't, yeah. don't get mean, Colby riled up. That's why it's way too early. Strong chance all of them will be playing for like North Carolina, Kentucky. <laughs> uh but uh, again, but they so. they look good. Or you're yeah. you're not buying any FAU of fifty to one. This was a magical season. I'm taking a little slice on it just because of how much they're bringing back. They needed a fucking Purdue in the one spot to just be a complete asset. I don't know, man. I mean, they could have beat Purdue, though, dude. This team plays legit ball. They I, like, I like, I like I'll, a little I'll, taste. I'll, give me a little FAU bit of that too, Sean. To give me a little bit of the the owls. A little sprinkle. Who? Who? Well, I was gonna who? ask. What I was gonna ask you is Virginia. Uh, well, before the uh, trans, you know, they kind of got hit bad in the portal already. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't. I definitely don't want to back anything from Charlottesville that's sore in the portal. I can just tell They're you sore that, in the portal. That's uh, a great. They lost a, the the big man to to, uh, to I, I, Creighton. I, I was more and asking because you're generally a Tony Bennett's a great coach kind of guy. Fifty they to keep one. a good program. True, but they also have gotten obliter like obliterated by the portal lately. And their style of ball, I don't know. I, again, we'll they're always. I mean, it it seems like their ceiling is always. To make a run, but really, you just remember that one run, and the every other time they fucking shat themselves. Yeah, I mean, yeah. again, really, they, I mean, they either they either win it all or they get knocked out in the first round. That's Virginia. Yeah, but they've also, I mean, they're, they're, it's starting to be more them choking than them. Like one championship is outweighing all of the other failures, but they're, they're, the failures are counting up. All right, so you guys are going to take a piece of Florida Atlantic. I'm going to say no fucking way because they're they're definitely going to lose people. NIL is going to come calling. Right, Boca Raton probably a little sleepy for these kids. 
Oh, come on. It's better than some of the places. Great they story. Would great, great story. I'm out. Um, Penny's coming back to Memphis, right? Yes. Is he, is he going to travel with these guys to the next he, level? He got extended uh, throughout the season. So. All right. So next up, we got 45 to 1 TCU and Xavier. Obviously, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued by Xavier. Xavier's intrigued. lost a ton. Yeah, I'm staying away from Xavier. Like, Miller's staying, I assume. Yes, but they, they have they have a, a unique ton. Jerome Hunter's back, but they so we're out on them. TCU, uh, even TCU, those are two v- TCU and Xavier TCU were old, super yeah. veteran all teams. Right, all right, I'm out. Now TCU did just land Jameer Nelson Jr. in the portal. I saw that. Yeah, we that's were, that's, a, that's a big get. Um, they are in the Big Twelve. Michigan just delete them from this list. I don't know if you caught oh, the why, news. I, you Jet know, Howard went we pro. Hunter Dickinson's in the portal. We didn't, we didn't talk. We yeah. all right. So I'll bring up uh, Michigan and Villanova at forty to one as well. Uh, Villanova, yes, forty to one in the Big well, East. Justin Moore's coming back. He announced yeah. he's coming back. COVID eligibility. So and and, and they uh, again, if they I, I, they didn't deserve to be in the tournament, but if they had figured out a way to get into the tournament, the way they were playing that second half of the season. I would have loved to see them in this tournament because it was so wide open. Um, so yeah, I, I I'm definitely on Villanova yeah. forty to one. Wait, what's going on? You guys hear you get you guys hear me over here? What's 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 going on? You, guys you sound my little, volume. You sound. Oh, he's strong. just he, no. Easy's pointing out is Colby okay? He's talking like yeah. a quarter of what he normally does, and kind of sounds like his puppy died. You're you're hearing off season Colby yeah. right now. Yeah, Colby gets into a dark place <laughs> yeah. with no. He got very angry at golf. Uh, angry yeah. at Jim Irsay, even yeah. though Jim Irsay is saving whales. Yeah, yeah. Orcas, 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 which and are even. Don't like, forget the bidwells. <laughs> um, oh wow! <laughs> I mean, go over your theory that like there are other bad owners. They're I all pieces of shit. Dan Snyder's like the best, oh, actually one of the best owners there is. Like as you, far as like quality human beings, if that we know, you had. He's not a good human being. But at the same time, if you're gonna sit there and pull out the owner thing, but he's definitely Colby, one of the better Colby owners is, as far is as suffering is, from off season depression. Yeah. yeah, but if you were to rank one to thirty two since Dan Snyder bought the team, who has done a worse job for the team and the fan base? His personal stuff aside. Just performance based. Is he the worst owner in the past twenty five years? No. Did well. Okay. So but he's number two. Uh Spanos might be in there too. His, I mean, uh, you got a lot. Uh, Spanos you got a lot is fair. You can, you can you can deal out. Spanos is bad, yeah. but again, so those franchises were like storied franchises with with great histories that people were proud of, and now no longer wear the colors. Yeah, I mean, they well, were. The I'd Cardinals. say the Chargers, Chargers fans are gone. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> okay, storied maybe. St. Louis Cardinal fans are gone. Anyway, back to college basketball. See, this is what happens when they stop playing the games. Uh yeah, I Villanova is obviously interesting. They're they're in the right conference, uh, but I'll pass. Woo, Miami. Are you taking anything, Colby? Let's. Uh, no, and, and I, I, I might jump on some Villanova. Let me make a case for some of these other teams here first. Michigan, you're right. Like they've lost a ton. Yeah, I, I don't get, see. kick them out and of they here right suck. now. Kick them out of here right and now. And the coach is bad. Like sometimes you can play well and you can't coach well. Miami, thirty to one. Tennessee. USC and Baylor all twenty eight to one. I mean, again, B- Baylor Scott Drew keeps good program, right, Colby? Can uh, LJ wh- Cryer in the portal though? All right, so there we are. But I I, I would trust and, and Baylor out of Mi- everyone. Miami else is uh, they had a bunch of senior guards, right? That yeah, they're going to lose those. I don't see them, and I think they benefited from a particularly like weak ACC as well. Baylor and Nova would be the ones I would trust out of there. USC is bringing in the top recruit in the nation. If you follow 24 seven sports, well, USC, they also could get uh Bronny. Isn't he uh he's not good though. Yeah. Oh dude. You did. You watch the McDonald's game. He's not good. No, but uh, did you watch the McDonald's also? No, I absolutely did not watch. Okay. I think he's from what I saw before to what he looks like now. He's definitely a guy that as a freshman to come on to a team and shoot those threes that he was shooting. Oh, I'll take that bet all day. I mean, I've read some scouting reports that, that highlight. He's not the best player on his own high school team. He doesn't play like an alpha. Did you watch? I, I would say I had heard negative stuff too, but watch the McDonald's all-star game. Yeah, I was, I was game. surprised. All right. Mm. No, but you don't think he can hit some open shots? I thought full, he, I full, thought he'd be going to college in China, Sean. Full, full <laughs> fade on Bronny James in college. Full I think, fade. I think he'll have somewhat of an impact. Full, full fade. 
I don't think he's going to be like the best player, but I think he could impact the team. Maybe he'll pull a Dennis Rodman and go uh, check out North. Korea. I think he impacts the team in that <laughs> maybe other better prospects come to play with him. Yeah, so they can hang I, the, with the Bronny effect. Not I've heard he's been he's rumored gonna, to Colorado. You know that, right? He's gonna bring he's been in rumored a, to Colorado. He's gonna bring yeah. in money and attention and possibly other players. Like yeah. I don't. I think you're naive to underestimate uh, the idea that people would want other players would want to play games where LeBron James comes and watches. You just if saw you just saw Dan Hurley's son, you know, dribble out the clock in the national championship. Yeah, that he just won an Addy. See what he happened? got? He got a ton of minutes in this tournament. Cal- I mean, Cal- that's really the best stat is that he got like 15 minutes. You can never take that championship <laughs> away from him, Sean. All right. It's like uh, AJ McCarron playing for his kid in the XFL. Uh, Colorado is 100 to one. To win the net, not on the list, but hundred to one. That's a, I mean, the problem is, is they just haven't had March success. But I mean, they're bring they got Lampkin from TCU. Uh, they got they're they're rumored they're to get EK from Wyoming, and they're bringing in a top ten recruit, number one according to on three, but also I think number. And L- they have an elevation advantage. It's true, and they return KJ Simpson, who I I like to think is somehow related to OJ Simpson. Hmm, but isn't but maybe. Isn't. Uh, well, I mean, I guess he is playing in LA. Maybe he's from LA. Any any of these teams interesting to you? Baylor at twenty to one. Are we marking that? Brain? I mean, that's the one I would trust most. Uh, that and Nova would be the two that I trust. I, I do buy into the culture there. Both places. Yeah, give me give me Baylor. Mark that. Mark so that. Ryan's first uh, bet: Baylor twenty to one. I have some right. I have a couple longer shot right ins. Just because I figured this was coming. You want to mark your Bronny James uh, private school Trojans? No, I'm not. I'm okay. not taking them. I'm just saying I do think Bronny James coming to a program I, I will will give them a slight boost. Noted LeBron and James would, fan and, would, and Bronny James fan after the McDonald's All American game. No, I, dude, watch him in the game. Uh, I think what Kentucky has three of those kids coming in. Four, yeah, four, four top Fuck. ten, four top ten oh, recruits man. coming in. All right, next up we got UCLA, Gonzaga, and Texas, all twenty-five to one. UCLA and Gonzaga, like they lose everyone, right? I ex- well, Timmy could come back. No. Yes. What? No, he said he didn't. He, he said he's not. But hey, a million dollars can change people's uh, lives, Sean. Apparently, how, how right? is he not? You're you're kidding. He he's been in college back. for like eight. Years. He's like he he's Clark. only a junior. No, he can not. come back. What year did he show up to camp? <laughs> what year did he show up to? You camp? got red shirt. You got the COVID he, eligibility. Now you can play ten years. Look at Stetson Bennett. Oh my! Whoa, he was playing football. He started playing with Heinz Ward <laughs> at Georgia. Right? Stetson Bennett is the same age as Lamar Jackson. That always blows my mind. Um, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't didn't UCLA UCLA Gonzaga lose too much? No, but you got to think that those teams are going to be super active in the portal. Uh, like yeah, I love I love UCLA again with the NIL, with the portal, uh, the fact that they've kind of restored the the uh, like the legacy that is UCLA basketball by I losing think, in the Sweet Sixteen to Gonzaga. No, but they had a they Steve Alford years he's referring to right yeah, yeah but like but they, also, the program was down their program fair. has gotten a lot better but this, but if you looked at this team. Three years ago, and you said that they 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 walk away with no national championships and only one Final Four appearance. That seems they like they drastically underperformed. And now they're all gone. Well, not all. Yeah, I'm I mean, taking them at twenty five. The to core one. is yeah. basically gone. Yeah, but I think they're they're a program that's set to reload. I don't know that no more Tiger Campbell blood flowing through the program. Yeah, I mean it's tough. I mean, they, they is, that dude was though. the heart and soul. They they got guys though, so That's I mean, fair. of course they do. They're in LA. Yeah, I'll pat. I'll, you know what? What about Texas, Colby? What are they going to do with a coach? Well, they just they re-upped Rodney Terry. He's back. Do now, you like that move? I think he deserved it. Do you um, like the move? Well, I mean, he well, he wasn't setting the world on fire at Fresno and Utah, but it's much easier at Texas when you can just buy players when you have the biggest. You get the biggest pocketbook. Now they shouldn't have lost to Miami, so I'm a bit of a skeptic there. But uh, they did, and and the, they're going to lose some key pieces from this team. So that is a little bit concerning. So no, I would not take the it's future. A, it's an interesting tier of teams. But they, that's it, another one in the portal. You're betting on what they could do in the portal. They all, all three of those teams can do whatever they want in the portal. I would think. Yeah, I mean, and a I portal, assume Gonzaga has a big budget for this kind of stuff. The portal well. is crazy right now. As far as like the amount of good players, we know it's been crazy in years past with like thousands of players. 
You know right now, Hunter the fact you have Hunter Dickinson, Max Acemus. You know how the, uh, the kid uh, in the beginning of old school, the director shows up to the house and he knocks on the door and he says, "I'm here for the gangbang." Yeah, it just we need to dub it over. I'm here for the portal. <laughs> Portal's crazy this time of year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I don't know. Like, I feel like all three of these teams could very easily have a top five talent team if they if they. Maybe not Gonzaga, but Texas and UCLA could easily run it back and have a great team. Maybe I'll join you on UCLA, Sean. No, what do you mean? You I'll, just shat I'll, on, you just shitted on it the entire segment. No, no, I said that it's the end of the era. Like it, they, they went. Yeah, and then I. And what then do you I, mean I shat on? I pointed out that they just had a great <laughs> roster. Colby, was he not shitting on UCLA? Yeah, he said they can't said, get it done with this I coach. Go, I go. They no, were, no, no. They I, restored some of the legacy. You, of neither the of you were fucking listening. No, I said they had a great, they had a great <laughs> roster, and they walked away with not like people would have assumed they won a national championship. I agree. They restored the help restore the program, but I think they also underperformed what they could have done as a unit. Okay. That being said, they could reload. I'll take a piece of 25 to one. <laughs> I mean, sorry, you didn't say anything positive about them. So I was surprised. It seems like they're coming down the mount. Yeah. <laughs> then why are you taking Because it? they could reload. Okay. Actually, no, scratch it back off. <laughs> you still, but, but I'm still, I, I stand by what I said. They underperformed. I didn't say the, they didn't. I said the, I said, they, you said they like your, your point was that the, the program was restored. I said, they, they've made UCLA an attractive destination. Yeah. And I think they're going to be able to reload talent wise. And I like Mick Crone. Sure. And I, and I was just simply pointing out that they dra they, they did underperform with the unit they had period. Okay. Arkansas 22 to one Houston, 22 to one Creighton 22 to one. I, I mean, again, these teams are fine, but like futures wise, you can't bet on any of these teams. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, like 20 to 25 to one is like not a good spot for me. Future Arkansas, wise, maybe right? I well, can, but can they run. lose Nick Smith and Anthony black. I mean, uh, the, you got to see if the other guys return Ricky council being the biggest one. And like, if one of these odds went up, th then maybe you're talking me into it, but like, I don't know. Just the 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 this odds seem too here. low for this window. This was crazy, and, and I think Houston's window too. Like I I think this was a good year for Houston to win the championship. Creighton in could, Houston, like so you you're you're a top seed and you're hosting the Final Four. It's too much sauce. Creighton, we don't know if Arthur Columa's going pro or Trey Alexander or Kalkbrenner. Uh, if if those three come back, you know they just got the kid from UVA, the big. Uh, they could maybe be in the mix. You never know. They're in the right conference. Uh, yeah, I just it felt like this was your their year. They had a path. They had a they had a means to do it. I don't know. No, I'm not. None of these. Uh, on a, a Houston, I feel like you. The, I would. I would say like Houston is perennially there. Yeah, and so I don't know. Like their price is probably like Tremont Marks in the portal. Do, doesn't like, but if if you were gonna if you made a bet with me right now, like what will Houston's odds be on December first? I'll say that they're like they're they're gonna be better than they are here. But do you know what Houston has to do this year? What's that? Play in the Big Twelve. So, I mean, they're gonna get. They're not gonna be a high seed. They're gonna get beat down some because every night in the Big Twelve is a fucking grind. Or, so, or they're just they're no, much better. I mean, we've no, seen they're going to make the tournament. They're this a good how, team, but they're, they're, their Gonzaga. days of like a one or two seed, I think are done. But, but the, then, so you're, then it's a hard sell for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess you could also argue it that maybe like gun, like Gonzaga, it's what turned their program around when they started scheduling tough out of conference. They, they became more reliable in the postseason. Anyway. Speaking of reliability, oh man, nothing more reliable of making you feel good than a rock hard erection. And if your erection isn't reliable, maybe a little up and down here for your erection, maybe uh, maybe an early exit for your erection, maybe disappointing season for your erection. This is a bounce back year for erections. Thanks to Sword Vitality, unsheath your sword. No more gas station pills. No more all these other other things that claim to help you out. Sword Vitality is the way to go. You manscape already. Why not take care of the plumbing? Make sure you got a well-oiled machine. It's time to become a Sword Vitality man. You aren't experiencing erections in the morning. You're missing out. Again, get the blood flow going. Get the stamina increase. 
And again, you don't have to hide it. You can be proud of it. 40% of men by the age of 40, 70% of the men by the age of 70 deal with erection issues. Don't let erections uh, slow you down from living an awesome life. And again, it's tough to have an awesome life without awesome erections. Sword Vitality makes that happen. Swordvitality.com. Promo code SGPN for a nice discount at checkout. Swordvitality.com. Promo code SGPN. Unsheath your sword. Next block UNC, Alabama, Michigan State. Arizona, bunch of these are all fades for me because again, I like Michigan State as a program. I like Izzo as a head coach. Twenty to one is is crazy. Like I, I, I would have to get like thirty to one. Alabama, like you're that. losing the best player in college basketball. Uh, UNC, I mean, they completely. Baycott, e- Edie, though, Edie was on Purdue. Bay- Baycott and Davis <laughs> are back. Michigan State was one we should talk about because. Uh, Tyson Walker could return. They also have a five-star big, big man, Xavier Booker, and a five-star point guard, Jeremy Fears. Coming I was actually going to say Michigan State is one of the yeah. few teams I like from here on out. I think. Yeah, I like them as a team, but not at twenty to one. Oh, I think this could be. I don't. I I randomly watched an interview with Izzo about the n- upcoming year. He had a twinkle in his eye. Yeah, I mean, I think it's his most talented team in, in some time. But right, but let's go, that's Colby. that's yeah. when Izzo disappoints. If you guys know Izzo. Those talented teams aren't the ones that do well in the tourney. He He's needs, near death. He's getting close. He needs a shitty team so they listen to him, so that he can yell at him. Uh, I, yeah, no. K- uh, Caleb Love is in the portal for UNC, but that's probably a good thing because we had uh, yeah. discussed this that when Armando Baycott's having sex with your girlfriend, normally not good for the team. Or I don't know, that, if it was Baycott, that, someone in that. He's one room. of those guys who will get penetration. And Baycott said, "I'm coming back." <laughs> <laughs> no coincidence that Fucking Caleb ran like a little bitch. <laughs> I, I mean, would you would you try to? Yeah, I don't know. I, and, and there's rumors that he's going to go join Dennis Gates at Missouri. Watch out! Oh, we haven't even we buried the lead. The highlight from the uh, the the tournament game was the Bill oh. uh, Raftery. Oh God oh, damn it! I, I'll send it to you now, Kramer. Yeah, yeah let's yeah let's go. Send it to you in Slack. Uh, that audio drop that he had was great. Um. So yeah, all in on that. All right, are we ready? Yes, this is great. Oh wait, there we go. <laughs> Suck in the D, he Hold says. Throws on the other side here, fella. Yeah, throw some of that little dribble, plug it at the rim, except in the D. Throws on the other side here, fella. Yeah, throw some of that little dribble, plug it at the rim, except in the D. He he knows, right? So oh, he knows. He's he knows. gotta. He's gotta. I mean, it's like he I, he onions. Obviously, he knows, but like he's onions. He's, double order of onions. He got, asked. Uh, there was a clip of them asking Raftery his best <laughs> onions calls. <laughs> onions, two orders. Uh, yeah. I mean, UNC was the favorites last year. At this point, that uh, massive overvalue there. Arizona, big revenge season, maybe. I don't know. But Kerr Krishna is in the portal. Okay. Krishna, Krishna. But don't reload, right? Like uh, no Mary interest. Krishna. No interest. Um, yeah. Sean, anything? No. All right. No, I mean Purdue. I like Michigan State, but I think at some point in the season you'll be able to get better than 20 Purdue. Purdue eighteen to one. Throw that piece of shit to the <laughs> trash. Any, anyone want to add positive? Oh my going, god! Get out of here. Kansas sixteen to one. Bills. That one's interesting because Self will be back, but they lose J- Jalen Wilson. They use they lose Grady Dick. He's going pro as after a freshman year, and McCuller too. So they're gonna have to hit the portal, I think, pretty heavy. But they get Harris back at the point. I'm fade on on Kansas. Feel like we, we're well, going we for a high know, point of their program. Well, also we don't know Bill Self. Like we yeah. didn't he didn't come yeah. back. So maybe he takes a year off from coaching or something like that. I. I, I one or of the few guys maybe that his health that. stuff scares recruits. Who knows? I yeah. I don't think you could bet that at sixteen to one until you know Bill Self's definitely coaching. How how is Baylor on this list twice? Yeah, I like uh, I like <laughs> Baylor at twenty eight to one better than I do at sixteen to one. Right? Uh, really? Smoking my weed. I will just delete that one. I'm I'm gonna blame the source I I copied and pasted it from. Uh, Marquette fourteen to one, UConn oh fourteen God. to one. Are you one. kidding me? The Marquette one is interesting no, I, because no way. they were so young this year. Yeah, but Shaka just doesn't have it. Uh-huh. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, dude, he was way not ahead of schedule. They weren't one? even supposed to make that. They they were not even supposed to have a winning season. I'll book this year. that action, Colby. They're in the right conference. I'm just saying. You want fourteen to one? I'll take. I'll take your money. Who'd you mention besides besides Marquette? 
You said UConn. UConn. See, I think this is a interesting spot. We haven't had a, a back-to-back champ since the Florida U- Gators. UConn, and Billy Donovan. UConn is interesting. Well, because think about this: they lose Jordan Hawkins, but I'm expecting Sonogo to come back. Really? Because I don't think he's a first-round draft. He's not pick. a pro. Maybe a second rounder, but and I guess you could maybe another country could offer money. I don't know. We'll see. We saw Crutwig leave and didn't come back and leave beautiful Connecticut. <laughs> the but, winners up there are fabulous. But guys, a lot of that team was freshmen and, and underclassmen. Uh, Disgusting. So they could be back loaded, Frauds. ready to go. They also have the number four recruiting class in the country. You know, if I if I would be if the if the panel would be willing to have a write in, I staying in the conference, maybe a good time to talk about. Do we take a piece of St. John's at a hundred to one? Oh, right we now? got to. Let's go, Pacino's back. Oh yeah, it's back in New York City. Ed Cooley is three hundred to one, and, and Georgetown. Oh, yeah. I Georgetown. Mean, you got to think he's just gonna <laughs> load up on the portal. What right? is San Diego State, by the way? Hold on, let me let me just confirm that Georgetown is three hundred to one. So right uh, in uh, St. Well, St. Am, John's. That Edgerson. team was talented, but no, I would say St. John's. I would right, who, who are you asking? San Diego State again. I mean, I know they they had a veteran team, but they're going to get some of those guys back with COVID eligibility. Eighty to one. Okay. I mean, you 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 got to think they can't make a run like they just did, but no. maybe they could use that platform <laughs> to bring in better offense. What if Max Aismith says I'm going to go play for San Diego State or something like that? Like you're that. probably going to get a better price on San Diego State next year, but you're definitely going to get a better price on St. John's next year. I love the St. John's one. Yeah. Cuz I'm St. thinking John's he's going to hit the portal Town. heavy. I mean, he basically just pulled a Deion Sanders and yeah. just said Hey, who wants to I don't want any of these players here except uh, Joel Soriano. No, he and he straight yeah. up said I'm old. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be here for a little bit, but I'm old and I don't <laughs> got a lot of time. <laughs> he told the whole team to get the fuck out of the office. <laughs> All right, except you're for fired. Joel Soriano, he's like, you big man, you're good. You yeah. can stay. The rest, you, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you're you're no longer welcome. All right, uh, last two Kentucky twelve to one. Uh, uh, we talked about the recruiting class, but that it, normally doesn't work. And look, Cal like, hasn't done this in a couple of years. Either, well, in right? like a decade, uh, the last time he had that good of a recruiting class, I feel like it was like 19 or 20 but, and they struggled. They struggled. It, I feel but, like that nowadays college hoops. We saw been, it with he's Duke. Been, he's been good at that though. But Duke he, brought in the best recruiting class yeah. ever this past year, but coach Cal was the best coach to ever glue together for a top fresh. True, but I think the game has changed Maybe. where every team like, I'm not betting this. Just you go back quick. ten years ago in college basketball, your team's winning the Full national fade, championship yeah. were like freshmen and sophomores. The past six champions, the past six like final fours have been all super experienced teams. Yeah, experience matters. Um and by the way, I don't know if we touched on this, but UConn uh keeps the Ken Palm rule intact as they were within the top uh, 20 in each and the top 50. If you saw there were number one in Kemba. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I'm just saying like, you know, you gotta have a top 20 offense defense that that, that list holds true. They got and then, it done. Yeah. So Duke, I'm not, Duke I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking I'm not. UConn at 14 to one. I'm not taking Kentucky at 12 to one or Duke at 10 to one. Those are crazy. Well, Duke, they got great news with Tyrese Proctor and Mark Mitchell returning, but we got to hey. find out if Jeremy Roach is coming. What about back. coach K is he, when does he and, come and, back? And yeah, I, I get it. You know, our buddy Billis wanted to give the, the coach an eight. What do you, what do you give him an a or an a plus? Yeah. yeah. I, I get it, but I, I actually think he did a good job considering the injuries. No, I, I think they're primed to have a good season, but I'm not taking them at 10 to one. And, let, and let's easy. Let's, yeah. I mean, we call it, call it like we see it. Uh, we do share some, we have some common workspace with coach K. Uh, we've not directly bumped into him, but he does. Uh, he does also use the studio in Vegas. I'm a bit disappointed. In Hold you, on, I'm, in, I'm about in you to guys, though. I'm about to drop some Coach K nuggets. He he seemed to agree uh, with our take that uh, Shirehood was having a tough season, and it's it, it's the exact reason he stayed further away from the program that he had intended to. <laughs> I, that's tough. I don't know how they could be the favorites. That's crazy. <laughs> that, uh, they're Duke. They, it's like getting the Notre Dame treatment. Coach K is worried. Treatment ten yeah. to one is insane. Yeah. Coach yeah. K insane. staying away because he, he knows how fragile your coaching work has been so far. And if he starts showing up, people are going to call for him to replace your ass again. They uh, should not be favored to win the well, national. One, one of the things I'm really surprised about though, is like you guys just dis- disappoint me on this list. 
Well, so, I have some. Ro- I, do we want to talk right in? Well, now? I mean, that- Kelly LaPepe announced he was returning to Loyola Marymount, okay. and they Let's just brought go. in Justin Wright from North Carolina Central. I'm excited about the Lions what and they, Kelly LaPepe. Are, are they 12 to 1 LMU to win it all? What I mean, they? they should be right around there. I feel like 10 to 12, depending I, on the book. I will say this uh, I am looking at a list <laughs> that goes all the way down. They don't, to even, they don't even show many love. Fe- it features a couple 1,000 to 1 teams. They have Boston College in here, LMU, but they don't have LMU. LMU and LMU Pepe. Is the disrespect the is right. unbelievable. LMU not on the list. Unbelievable. Uh, what else could we? What what else? Long. Any shots? other? Any other right? I mean, the Cooley you, long shot. No, I'm I'm on the Cooley long shot at three hundred to one and St. John's hundred to one. Those are the two. I fun like the St. John's one. I'm gonna buy into the St. John's one. I will uh, also. What else do we have? What about? What's Notre Dame doing coaching wise? They hired uh, Micah Shrewsbury from Penn State. Okay, uh, two hundred fifty. What, what's two hundred fifty to one? Penn for State Notre went Dame. and got Mike Rhodes from VCU. No, but I mean, what are their odds? One twenty to one. Uh, that's probably right. What about a uh, Porter Moser? One fifty to one in Oklahoma. What about Mike Bray? Where do we think he does? He, he actually he hasn't actually landed yet. He's retiring. no. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, do you do we think he comes out of coaching? And where would he end he, up? He said he wants he wants or to still coach again, but he wants to take a year off. Okay, you're rich. Go go to the fucking Bahamas for a couple months. You know. Uh, Is there another program that has the talent that well if they like? Can we talk about if Hunter Dickinson? You know, so Maryland just hired. The long t- Hunter Dickens is high school coach at, from Dematha. So if Dickinson goes to Maryland, which would be a big if, because he could go to Virginia, he could go to Duke, he could go to Kansas. Um, that would be something interesting to watch. Is where where Hunter Dickinson lands. Maybe you take a sprinkle, hoping that he goes to Maryland. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be open again next year. The field is going to be pretty open. Like I know New Mexico brings back some guys. Unfortunately, they're going to have to. They're gonna have to beat San Diego State, but like New Mexico is bringing back three guys that you know. What's New Mexico's uh, odds? They're down there, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they got to be in the thousand 100, to one. Hundred fifty to one. Oh, okay. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like you you can have fun with Mississippi State. Hundred fifty. I I would uh, buzz. Do we buzz at fifty five to one? Is there any? Uh... Sure. I mean, I think it all. It's all about matchups. It's all about who they get in the portal. Now, they had some experienced guys that are going to be. Leaving, he's a great so, coach. You yeah. Know. So yeah. he could probably whatever he gets, he's going to make lemonade. Yeah. Ooh, Cusa fanatic forty four no. pointing out Syracuse in on Dickinson <laughs> as well. No. no what no is way. uh? What is Syracuse's odds? Well, they they went and hired Adrian Autry. Well, they like Bayheim. Announced he was. Uh, I don't know. They didn't have like a coaching search. They, they but, fired um, Beheim and then they hired Adrian, their former player for Beheim, Adrian Altry. So really, not Aaron Kraft. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Always uh, 150 to one for Syracuse. So it, which begs the question, Sean, were you a Beheim guy or were you a a, a Cuse guy, Cuse guy, orange through and through? Well, the Cuse until they start showing me they want to pay in football and basketball, like they used to. Um, I can't take them serious until they start landing some of these, some of these big time guys. They got the media by the balls, though. All right, you got to go back. Weasels. You got to start. Collect, you got to get a good NIL collective going there. I don't understand how they're not. They used to be a powerhouse in football. They used to be a powerhouse in basketball. Get get it together. So that's it. Final answer. We're done. We're out of here. All right, let's go. LSU five hundred to one. They know how to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> right, are we there? no? <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, we'll be back, uh, Kramer and I, later today uh, to break down the Masters with the Golf Gambling Podcast. Boys, make sure you tune in for that. Uh, go to sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash driver. Get in that tailor made driver contest giveaway. Did Colby, have you entered yet for the free driver? Uh, I No, I, I my Uber driver's all right, dude. <laughs> All right. Colby's got Colby a personal hates, Uber Colby driver. hates golf, even though it's an outdoor sport. I don't, and it's great grass. Uh, it's outdoors, but it's sport. Ne- is never where, played where, in a dome. This is the wrong terminology. <laughs> never, never played in a dome. Although the Japanese probably have some yeah. golf dome somewhere. I, you know, Patty C was an athlete. I don't know if he could complete walking 18. <laughs> Uh, he's, he struggles with the uh, the yardage uh, up our stairs. Eighteen beers. If Daly can do it, Patty C can do it. That right. is true. <laughs> Daly's an athlete. That would be great. Just have Patty C and uh, 
and uh, John, John Daly. Daly. That go should to be a podcast. Uh, yeah, Daly and uh, Daly and C, your Daily C, and it's your uh, daily dose of uh, Patty C and John Daly. Just talking <laughs> chicks, beers, and wings. I'm in. All right, we gotta we gotta work on that podcast. Thank you as always for subscribing. Thank you for participating in the <laughs> Sports Gambling Podcast. That subscribe button. Awesome college basketball season. Hey. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Muddy Green, and he is Ryan. Hokies are 150 to 1 if you care. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>